when you're cooking. Uh, this is a really interesting, um, really interesting um, class uh, concepts and techniques. Is a lot of time, you know, when you start to because you don't know a lot of the takedowns, and you know, and, and it could be quite scary starting from your feet against someone that's done some takedowns, or you know, you're brand new, and you might have had that one fall where you post wrong and you've hurt your arm or charge your arm, whatever like that. So a lot of times, you know, we, we kind of come in, we touch hands, and it's like this really awkward. You know, like, where do I start? Like, what, what do I start with? And then, you know, the, the senior guys kind of go, oh, okay, just get in my car. And you're like, oh, I don't want to go in your guard. So, you know, like, where do we start? Yeah. Um, when I teach the kids, I teach them what I call a driving test. And the driving test is really simple. I get hold of the steering wheel. I can either drive my car forwards, I can drive my car backwards. I can turn to my right, I can turn to my left. I can go backwards to my right, I can go forward to my left, but the whole time is I'm just trying to off-center my partner. I don't want to get in this zone where we're both kind of like doing this and it's like going eh, 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 eh. Like, you know, uh, the second thing about it is any time that my partner is centered and I step up, he's got the ability to simply throw me. So a lot of time I see the kids, they think that's more powerful to be up on your knees to push. The downfall about it is the instant that I'm like, you know, we're pushing like, yeah, like all of a sudden, so I, like I'm off balance, like you know what I mean, and even, even if it doesn't push me out, I'm off balance. So what we want to do from here is this, um, I want to go take my partner down to his left hand side to my right hand side. First thing is I deal with the post. So I pull the post in, so see what happens to the shoulders. Second is I push, now that's going to put him slightly off balance. The tip is I put my foot now once he's off balance and I slide. The beautiful thing about it, I go straight to my knee right position and I have the arms up and my knees on his stomach. So again, so when I teach the kids, I just call this a driving test. Because you know, we're learning how to drive the car. So I do want collar and I do want sleeve. I try not to go the same side because he pushes his arm across, he's got back exposure as well. So I try and go this side and this side. Okay, so tipping the arm to his left, to my right. It's down and in to tip. <laughs> Whee! Come up. The downfall about for me is for me to do the armbar, I have to step up. Let's move back a fraction so people can see my beautiful face. So, one, two, yeah. once again. Don't pull because your weight's going backwards, it's better for him. So, push it in, pull it towards me, push. Step, knee right, here. If I'm sitting up, for me to keep my leg over his head, my weight by default is onto my right knee. So I put my weight on him, which makes it easier for me to bring my right leg over because there's no weight on it. Secondly, it secures the arm. So one more time, how'd that feel, Ted? Yeah, solid. Okay, so grip, so uh, collar sleeve opposites. Really easy, so pull it in and pull it to, that'll tip the shoulder. Once he's off balance and compromise, I can step and I'm just tapping the knee. I find sometimes I hear on my knees that I can't take them out because my own knee's in the way. So I'm just kind of tapping the knee. This also means by default, when I come to knee right, I'm in a better position to secure the arm. One, two, three. Thank you, sir. That's what we're doing the kids' part. I want to contradict what I said. Um, mainly in BJJ, there's a lot of uh, rules that are general rules or you shouldn't do this shouldn't do that um on the same token then there's a lot of stuff that i'm going to do that to get this reaction because they're going to respond a separate way so there's no there's no hard and fast in bjj you know apart from a couple of things like like you know if someone's getting a choke and doing a really good back choke to deal with the choke you know there's stuff that that we have to do so i've already mentioned that um uh, on this grip i have the opposite sleeve and the opposite collar so my left hand's grabbing that side collar not this side collar for the reason that my partner can start to take my back, push my arm across and take my back. I understand this. Okay. So this is called the bait. And what I'm doing is exactly the same thing is I'm going to do ex uh, the things that I've said not to do. So I put my hand in. I step out wide, I put my hand in nice and deep, and now my partner's off balance. So this is easy to take my partner in, come straight through, and I hit my collar choke instead. So let me explain how this works. So when I get my grip, you guys can come around this side to have a look. It's really rare that I can get my, uh, my control hand 
for the choke hand in Super D. In fact, you know, this is the battle that quite happened. So what I found for me was that if I kind of go step out, step out and pull, I could push my hand in deep. Secondly, I'm offside. Right. So even if Damien just tried to throw me from here, because I'm so far offside, it's quite an, you know, difficult to do. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do exactly the same thing, except I'm gonna to start to walk this way. So as I walk this way, I kind of put pressure. <laughs> Tap my partner down. Step to my knee ride. Now, I do not have to put my thumb into the choke. I'm gonna grab the bottom of it, this part of the gear here. Now I know 10 times, you're gonna feel the arm bar, so as it rolls towards me to defend the arm bar, I get hold of the choke. Most important thing on the choke from here is this is, Pull your elbows in and control nice and deep. Don't have your elbows up because he's got a workable space where he can defend it. Pull your elbows in. Now, for me to finish up, the way that I like to finish up is I like to step up and come super deep. I find here my arms are an extension a little bit too far. As, yes, not that it's a big deal, but if I step here as Damien sits up, it actually puts the choke on. Secondly is he's probably not gonna pull the arm by arm out because that's the only thing that's saving him at the moment. So with the bigger guys, I find that they start to push away. As they push away, I simply sit and I keep the choke on Lego and finish the choke with the leg over the head. My theory is this is, if he's having to defend the choke, the choke's on, so I'm not gonna let go of the choke. Mm. You know, it's kind of like, you know, like, like it, it's, uh, my weapon of mass destruction set and primed, I'm not letting go of it. Like that, that's the thing that I want to use. Rob, come up, thank you, Danny. On your knees. Uh, this takes a little bit of um, a little bit of uh, practice to do. So we're here. So I grip the same side. I don't it kind of hesitate. So I'm going to go right leg steps out, left leg, prime, and hand goes in. What I find people try and do is they try and turn this here. It's too hard to. So I'm going to just kind of run DMC, walk this way, put him down, step, grab the back. If you put his jaw down, I'm going to break his jaw. Yeah. I break your jaw. It's not the correct defense. And I, I, right here, my wrists, uh, my forearms are right on your jawline. I'm gonna break this like super easy. So, realign, I'm here. Step, finish the choke, and can't finish it. Can't bust it up. I heard a lot of people like, you know, you can't break the jaw, you can't break the jaw. Fuck, I call bullshit on that, man. I'll, I'll break your jaw from that. Like, 100% I'll break your jaw. So, prove me wrong. Come in here. Let me choke you. See how you go. Um, serious. <laughs> okay, so, it's not deep enough. It's here. Step, step, pull, goes in deep. Step, pull, 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 push. So that hand pushes to my near right position. Wait for my partner to roll towards me. As he rolls towards me, slap on the back. Come over the top. Oh, that's on. Squeeze, realign from here, and then if you keep trying to turn towards me, the choke's gonna come on. So they're generally gonna use their left hand to try and push away, or right hand has a push. You've got the arm bar as well. Keep the choke on it. I know the arm bar was super deep, so I just take the arm bar. One, two, three. Excellent. Thank you. I'm gonna cover some very base fundamentals. This is a lot of stuff that people overlook or uh, unconscious incompetence, they're not aware of it. So um, just as a basic, and this is set up our next game plan, okay. Anytime that we're on our knees and my knees are together, I'm compromised, it does two things. I don't have a post and my hips are high. Anytime I'm forward or backwards, I'm compromised one way or the other way as well. So as a general rule, what we want to do is we want to match their height, unless their height goes high and we go lower. So the, the thing is I want to kind of go here and here. If my hips are forward, my weight's going forward, so if Rob slightly pulls backwards, I'm definitely going to go forward. If I can drop my weight down, if no Rob moves me, I have a very solid base. This is a lot, a lot better base for me. It's actually very harder to move. So the downfall is if my partner moves <coughs> the wide base and straight base. Okay. I know two things. I'm going to have a hard time pushing him over. The second thing, which is my benefit, is hard for him to move. Of course, it's compromised his movement by consolidating a base. It's really rare that you can have movement in base. Okay, so first thing, I'm gonna do our Patrick Swayze. I'm gonna kick him as hard as I can from the ribs with a roadhouse kick. Okay, so clear the debris. 
Roadhouse. This works best when my partner has a really... So, you know, we've got this... Okay, so on the arm that's extended is the arm that I'm attacking. Foot. And he goes, look, Adam's got no base, throws me on the ground, leg comes over, and I hit the arm bar. Right. So, let's give you a fraction. I am going to get pushed over. It's in my favour. The th uh, last part about it is I need to spin 90 degrees. So the shin on the hip helps kick me to here. I need to open my legs. I'm going to go super slow. Five base. Match it. Okay, so. I know I can just step. If this space stays open, he's gonna land in this space. So as I fall, I bring my knee to my chest. Let me out a bit, so, so my knee to my chest. That's okay, so there's no space. I've got the control, he's got the control. To lock the arm in, I bring my knee in. If I bring my knee wide, he's gonna pull the arm out and he can pass it wide. Okay. I do have sleeve control. Yeah. So the path that's hit is they're flat on their back, so I try and bring the leg over. So turn a little bit, close, and here. To stop him from driving me up, stack me and pass my car, I go, like, it's not the end of the world, but this is, take your heel to your body, turn your knees away from his head. And that will turn your, because my shin's the most, kind of like I'm throwing him over my shin. Secondly about it is that, because the head's the heaviest part of the body, I'm tipping the head, the body will follow. Right, so, uh, the small details once again is we have the wide base, so we're here. I match his height, step up. Now, as he pushes, I'm going with it. So I'm trying to land here, my knee to my chest, and matrix me around. Spin around, go Right, okay. So bring your knee up if you can. The downfall is if you're facing your partner, your knees are facing the wrong way. This is better for him, not so good for me. So I like to go like my shin, just turns a little bit. My shin, turns, that'll extend the arm. Heel to my bottom, turn my knees. Plane the arm, sit back in elbow. One, two, three. Okay. Yeah. Um, the final one for today is um, we're going to start off on our knees. My partner once again has a, has a very, very wide base and I'm having trouble compromising my partner. So what I'm trying to do is trying to get what I call an overhook system. Um, we do have an underhook system, which is a shoulder crunch system, which we're not going to go today, but we're trying to get the overhook system. The biggest part on the overhook system is everyone kind of comes up super high and they're susceptible to being taken down. So, um, Mr. Young. To get our grips again and, and like you know we've got that really wide base from here and you know we're, we're trying to push and shove so what i want to do is is instead is i want to swing to the inside position and this is the part that i don't want you to do i see and they're going to come up high to do that and you know i've given him because i'm high he can attack me and etc so what i'm trying to do from here is it's nice now so i just shoot and i'll grab and this will actually take his post out and uh, give me the ability to to move him again so it's an overhook system uh, the reason why this is so successful, it works on, on two directions, not one direction, because they suck, okay? So, from here, the two directions... One of them died the other day. Hey? Yeah. One of them died the other day. Oh, yeah. Oh. Too soon. Yeah. <laughs> you went one Oops. direction. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so we can edit that out. Off his balcony. <laughs> Down. <laughs> anyway, go on. Okay, like so. No, no, that's just not like. Okay. So, what I find is here, if I'm trying to pull my partner, we've already worked out that they've got the good base. The trouble is, it's kind of pulling in one direction. Okay. So, once they come over, I'm pulling and pulling down. So, this compromises this base a lot more because I have dual motion. I don't go, I try and stay on the elbow because that's the, the middle of the lever. So wide base from here, bit of push and shove, inside position on top, pull it down from here, and I don't have to move, step up. Once again, I'm in the armbar position, and because it's steep, I don't even have to step up here. The armbar's quite a tight little armbar from here. Okay. So inside position, 
wide base, hips low, and do it like I'm trying to move my pain. You've got that little bit, so just circular inside. So I'm trying to keep my forearm on his forearm and just trying to cup here. So I'm not trying to do the whole big over, just this little, okay, get behind it, pull it down and in, which is a mechanic. Push, step up. Because that arm's on elbow deep, this makes it super easy for me to get to my arm, but you can step up the head if you want to. One, two, three. Yeah, right. Just a very different oh, kind of style arm bar. Bob. On your knees. Okay, so very simple guys. Once again, we start up from here, I get the control position. I'm on the outside, so pull the arm down, pull it in. My left hand pushes, take my partner, step from here. So what I see a lot of people do is they put their knee onto their partner, which means that my weight is here, which is nothing wrong with, right? but my weight's evenly distributed between both of my knees. So for me to step up, I have to step up, step overhead, which gives him a value to be able to pull the arm out. So for me, what I want to do is this is, I want to put all my weight onto my hand and I want to bring my foot under. <clears throat> so I'm pulling in and I'm like, it's quite a heavy, so I'm in this position for me. This means that my foot is now free to move over the head without me having to fall down when I do the arm bar. Where I see a lot of time that we're here, Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm light, but I'm heavy. It feels great. Okay, so for me to step over, I have to take this big step and there's too much space. So here, it's not this, it's this. It's this. Everyone focus on this, but if my toes are facing down, he can just pull the elbow down to the ground. And my toes are pointing towards his head. I have a, a little bit more control. Secondly is, um, Weight distribution, weight distribution, okay. I believe that you can make 70 kilo feel like 100 kilo, and you can make 100 kilo feel like 70 kilo. Right. So the biggest thing I need right is this. You okay with this? Absolutely. You know what I'm doing? I, I, I can guess. <laughs> okay. You I, signed a waiver? I consent. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I consent. Okay. So look, Spewing. if I'm here, my weight's 70 odd kilo. If I spear, it changes. He will have to get a reaction. I don't have security. So, here. Spear. It's a fast armbar. So when I hit the knee right, I spear my knee through the chest. I didn't put it purposely right where I needed it to be, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna drive my knee in. Um, so, what I see people do is the points of contact is one, two, and three. So foot, foot, knee. Change it, so it's just foot and knee. Okay. Second thing about it is this is, once I'm here, if I have the control, it allows me to now here. As he pushes, it allows a really deep swing underneath, which allows me to start to bring my leg over without losing my balance, and take the arm. Yes, sir. So, uh, getting in the habit of taking your foot off the ground, obviously. Uh, yep. So, if you keep doing that, you, you can't really go wrong. It's going to end up in the right position. Come here, Steve. Come here. Come on, Come on. Come on. So, I'm, I'm going to go light. Yep. Okay. So, how heavy do I feel? A little bit heavy. Yeah, light. Not heavy. Yeah. Watch. If I slowly take my foot off, how, how heavy do I feel? Almost lighter. Okay, so if I change it to here. Yeah, that's. <laughs> right, so not the ribs. The ribs are your armor. They're the armor. I'm going for the chink in the armor. Here. Yeah. And you okay? Yeah. Add in the pull, I'll almost tap you with my knee right. Yeah. So that's going to make you react. So for me, I'm not going to do it hard. As I'm doing it for me, if my partner turns towards me and digs it away, my hand goes in, my hand goes over, and choke. If my partner turns away from me, I'm back. Yep. So it sets up, it sets, so it sets up all my attacks. So the, the spear knee right will help you consolidate your, your submissions as well. Okay, line up guys, one, two, three. Okay.